Imagine, imagine standing on the edge of a cliff and you're gazing into the vast unknown. It's thrilling, it's terrifying, it's filled with potential and questions. What if I leap? What will I find? Will I soar? Will I fall? This weekend, there is a call to dream bigger, to shed the fears and banish the whisper within. Stay small and to embrace the possibilities of love, of growth, adventure, wisdom, abundance that lie just beyond our comfort zone. This is our moment to align our vision with action. So how can we turn our fears into fuel for this journey? Well, the answers don't lie in waiting. They live in the steps of what we decide to take today. So join me as we embark on a journey of self-discovery. We will gain an understanding of how to embrace this energy and move forward today and every day. What a special day, our weekend, I should say, um, that we have in front of us. So hi, I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the positive, loving support you send me each and every day. I send it right back to you. Welcome to your weekend focus, November the 30th and December the 1st, 2024. So somewhere in there, I feel like I have to say rabbit, rabbit. On Saturday, we have the 30 energy. Now, the 30 energy is very much like the 3 energy. 3 plus 0 is a 3. But when any number is combined with a 0, it, it gives that energy a godlike presence, a godlike energy. So 30, 20, 50, 90, you get it, right? So the 3 energy is all about our transformation. To allow our hearts to be led through curiosity it is our voice. It is our thoughts. It's our dreams. If we look at the daily numerology for Saturday, it would be an 11 plus a 3 plus an 8, and that gives us a 22 energy. One of the strongest, if not the strongest, numbers in numerology. The 22 energy. We have to be quick on our feet. We have to make decisions quickly based on our wisdom based on our knowledge based on looking within it's about putting a focus on what we truly want to bring into our lives wherever your focus is on a 22 energy whether or not you're paying attention to the numerology or not wherever your focus is that is what you are going to bring in the expansion of more of so if you are under a 22 energy and you're not paying attention to the numerology and you get a stack full of bills and you're like, oh my gosh, more bills and more bills and more bills. And they're hearing more bills, more bills. We need more bills. Let's break the furnace. Let's, you know, shut down the fridge. Let's do something here, guys. So we want more bells. So we don't want to put our focus on things that are of a negative nature where we feel burdened, where we feel saddened, where we feel maybe even out of control, but put our focus on the things that we want to bring into our life, the abundance, the prosperity, the good health, the love. And when we do put our focus on that, watch it come in like waves. On Sunday, we move into December. So December is a 12 energy, right? 12th month of the year. And the 12 energy is about really being in the moment, really celebrating the moment. Don't think about the past. Don't think about the future too much. We want to be in the moment. We want to be mindful of what we are doing, what we are saying, what we are seeing, what we are eating, what we are, you know, where the beauty is. Absolutely. The 12 energy does ask us to look at the situations in our life, though. And where are we headed because of those situations? Where do we hold on to control? Where do we thrive for control? Where do we necessarily need control? Or maybe it is finally surrendering to something that you know is for your betterment. One plus two is a three energy. So we've already talked about the three energy. So know that that three energy is highlighted throughout the entire month, not just today. 
Okay, so now in order to get our yearly energy, our, our true energy for December 2024, we have to add that to our yearly energy, which is the eight, right? Two plus zero plus two plus four. So the three plus an eight is an 11 energy. Yes, November was an 11 energy. So we had that all through November. And now we go into December having that 11 energy again. Now, the, the 11 energy is more about letting go about what stands in your way, what doesn't align with your true path forward. The things that burden us, the things that aren't healthy for us, the things that, uh, you know, trip us up, you know, self-sabotage. What are the things we do? You know, when it's our turn to speak, do we shy away and hide in the corner or do we speak? Do we speak our truth? Do we allow our self-expression to flow? The 11 energy is about making a commitment to yourself and then living up to that commitment, giving that commitment and focus. It could be a goal, a desire, a dream, a passion, but giving it the focus and attention and yes, the action in order to create that great success that you can see in your mind. Now, it is December 1st, so we have a one energy. The one energy is the I am. The one energy is all about being the pioneer to go forward, to look for those obstacles so we can break through them, those limitations. It is a, a time of knowing that we've got this, that we can step into our independence and go forward. Even if we're doing some kind of group thing, there is a form of independence within that group, something that you must do, you must master in order to contribute your part, your share. The daily numerology for Sunday would be a three plus a one plus an eight, which gives us the 12 energy again. So know that that number is electrified because that is our monthly energy. And um, one plus two is three. So the three is, you know, over the top here for energy. So pay attention to, you know, allowing curiosity to lead your heart to passions, to dreams, to desires, to wants, to love. Sun is in Sagittarius and our moon moves into Sagittarius on Saturday morning around, I think it's about 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, and it will meet in the sky with the sun on Sunday for our new moon in Sagittarius. So it's bringing in new beginnings infused with optimism. Okay, adventure, the pursuit of knowledge. It's a time to set intentions, expand your horizons, uh, you know, through travel. Okay, traveling in the mind or traveling somewhere, a short trip, a long trip, making travel plans for the future, learning, opening up to new opportunities, embracing new perspectives. It, it really is a time to set some big goals, to envision what you want to achieve, and then look at creating some actionable, actionable steps around those goals, those dreams, those desires. Okay, it's, it's definitely a time to step out of your comfort zone, to embrace opportunities, to embrace adventure, to look for new experiences, to socialize with new crowds, focus on the positive, practice gratitude. Now, under this energy, okay, the Sag energy is, you know, we can easily get overwhelmed. There are so many possibilities that we can see, okay? So focus on what aligns with your goals. Don't get too sidetracked, okay? It can take you down a, a rabbit hole quite easily. You start investigating something and then you learn that it branches off into different parts and then you investigate each of those parts, which has their subcategories, and then you're into the subcategory and you're way from, you're so far from the market of what you truly sat down to learn about. You've learned a lot, but it, is it applicable to our journey going forward? Okay, commitments. Commitments can feel so constraining. Okay, we could feel so restless. We could feel like, no, we, we don't want to meet our commitments. We don't, you know, it's, we have to be diligent. We have to be diligent in honoring our commitments and our obligations. And we have to put that at the forefront because it's easy to do. You know, this is really an, an open invitation to dream big and trust in the endless possibilities that lie in wait for you. This energy invites you to break free from the constraints of your routine thinking, 
Okay, whether it's about finally speaking your truth in a relationship, taking a chance on a career path, rediscovering the part of you that craves adventure and freedom, it's a time to believe that the horizon holds something worth pursuing. And with great expansion also comes a challenge, and that is to stay grounded, to stay focused, clear in your intentions. Okay, dreams without direction can scatter into the wind. And confidence, untethered, may lead to some missteps. So set a few expansive intentions, embrace adventure, focus on growth, exploration, allow the optimism to flow through you, align with this energy of the new moon, and prepare yourself to create to create a life of purpose, of joy, of discovery. Okay, let's go to the cards. Okay, our underlying energy is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is here to say, yeah, we have to roll up our sleeves. We have to get to work. We have to put actions behind our plans, our dreams. Our <laughs> and it's about putting our best foot forward. We don't want to halfway do something. We want to give it our best. We want to give it our all. Um, especially when it comes to work and career or maybe your stature within the community, within the home. People are watching. Even if you don't think people are watching, people are watching under this energy. What you are doing, what you are creating, what you are masterminding. So, you know, and the rewards will come. The, the, the acknowledgement will appear. Okay, so if you're going for that raise, so long as you are just putting your best foot forward each and every day, you should be approached for that raise. Or that promotion. Maybe it shows up, but maybe you just put your foot forward. And you don't know if you're ready or not yet. But hey, it's time to grasp onto those opportunities. It's time to go on the adventure. And if they say no, you're in the same boat. It's not like you, you lose some kind of stature. You just remain where you are so that you can grow a little bit more. This is um, definitely one brush stroke at a time. We want to take our time. We want to be a little methodical, which is against the energy that we are being presented with. Okay, we don't, we want more spontaneity when it comes to Sagittarius energy. So it's important to keep these things front of mind so that we don't just waste our energy popping over here and then popping over there and doing that and doing this and nothing really got done. Okay, this is where we start to imagine our path forward. Okay, here we are painting. Painting a path forward. If we don't have the path painted in yet, a little bit of it, by the looks of it, we've kind of outlined the path. And we are creating our tomorrow. One breath at a time, one step at a time. One thought at a time. Okay, first card is the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is the... <laughs> The horizon expands. We can't just jump into a decision and go with it. We have to think it through. How will it work in our life? How will it maintain that balance that I have? We want to go outside our comfort zones, and yet we want that comfort at the same time. So how do we do that? Slow and steady wins the race. We are standing there on the brink of our tomorrow. We are looking out into this expansive horizon. And we are thinking about the possibilities of how we can go forward, what we can do. Eventually, we'll move over to the next wand. And we'll think of a few more things. Or maybe we'll move it around a little bit. We'll add to it. We'll take away. It's not until we move to the third wand that we finally make some decisions. So anything that we are doing, we want to give thought to. We want to allow it to have a presence in our thoughts, in our mind as we think about the possibilities of how it can work, of how it can step into it, okay? And be truthful with yourself, okay? We all have that big bag of lies. I remember um, one client, they, uh, you know, they just said, I'm just so, you know, mundane. You know, I, I had a, a dream to, to travel and to start my own business. And 
I just seem to be in a rut and I just seem to stick to routine and, you know, nothing is pushing me out of the, so I said, you know, well, if you want to travel, if you want to start your own business, then why don't you just do it? And all the excuses came out. There was time and there was family and there was relationships and there was dramas and all these excuses and our giant excuse bag of why we shouldn't take that risk on ourselves, why we shouldn't go towards bringing in happiness and joy into our life. So be truthful with yourself. Don't dig into that pile of excuses because we can convince ourselves of anything, anything at all. It's a powerful bag. And so you do not want it present with you for these conversations. You want to start believing in yourself. You want to start taking a risk on you, your strength, your courage, your confidence. We have the six of wands. Yeah, the six of wands. Imagine yourself getting up early in the morning. You've set your alarm clock. You're going to hit the ground running. And this could be on past accomplishments, okay? It could have something to do with the past accomplishment that is pushing you towards a new path forward. And so you're leaving in the, in the twilight hours. It's foggy. The sun is, you know, almost going to start coming up, right? It's getting a little lighter out. It's foggy. It's misty. And you start going and you are in full uniform you're ready. You're ready for the battle. You're for whatever it takes. And the people start coming out of their houses, your neighbors, your friends. And they start chanting you on. They start cheering your name. And they start saying, you've got this. It's almost like it's a parade just for you as you go towards this new beginning, this new start. We have the Six of Cups. Well, we haven't seen the Six of Cups in forever and a day, have we? So we could be looking at things under this energy where we've always wanted to do it. Maybe we've even tried to do it and people laughed or people poked fun at us. And so we didn't dare try again for we don't want to be ridiculed. We don't want to be laughed at. We want to be loved. We want to be accepted. Somebody told you once upon a time that you shouldn't, you couldn't, you mustn't, you can't. And for some reason, you took that to heart. You carved it in stone and it has been your motto to live by. You know, imagine you're, a, you're in grade three and the teacher put up this picture of somebody and we were all supposed to draw it. And, you know, you're doing it and you're thinking it's fabulous. Like you're, you're catching it. It's looking so good. It's probably the best work you've ever done. And as the teacher walks by, she goes, oh, what is that? Is that supposed to be that picture? What are you even thinking of here? This is, you're, you might as well start over. I mean, do, do not pursue, do not pursue a life in art. Because obviously you don't have an artistic bone in your body. And all your friends are giggling and laughing and pointing at your picture. And you feel like crawling up and, and just going into the fetal position in the corner. And so you never draw again. Or you never, maybe you draw, but you never show it to anybody. You hide it under that bucket. This is a time when, you know, or your parents said, you know, children should be seen and not heard and so you zipped it so you really not never had a true voice or you never let your true voice expand into what you want to say what you want to accomplish so this is a time when somebody has told you or you have told yourself you cannot touch those flowers those flowers are not meant for you who what makes you think you're so special that those flowers would even be for you and an angel appears, your guardian angels, your guide, your higher self, your maker shows up and says, these flowers are for you. They've been for you this whole time. It's time for you to grab a bouquet, to smell their fragrances, to allow it to ignite you into the person you were meant to be. And then we have the Six of Swords. So really about going forward, we have three sixes on the board. Okay. When three sixes come on the board, I know in some way 
Your habits are going to change. Your behaviors are going to change. Your routines are going to change. You are going to, um, you know, this is a time when we can become more organized and it stays organized. Huh? What about that? How many times have you organized a, a closet only to come back in six months and going, oh my goodness, I might as well start from scratch. You know, or you always start with that clean desk, but by the end of the day, my gosh, it looks like a hurricane hat. Or you always go to sleep, but with a couple of dishes still left in the sink. You know, whatever it might be for you, it doesn't have to be on a grand scale, but you start to notice these things. Under a six energy, I see your routines changing. I see you evolving. You might even find yourself with three sixes here that you're happier at work. You have more dedication because there's something to work for or pursue. Maybe you know that what you are going to pursue is not this job. And so you're happy because now you're on the lookout for those kinds of experiences, those opportunities, those adventures to come into your life. Here we are ready to go forward. We are ready to go into uncharted territory. Okay, the unknown, out of our comfort zone. We know very little, but what we already know will get us to where we need to go. It's time to push out. It's time to stop waiting for that motor so it's an easy ride and start pushing with that stick. And you've got a friend in the boat. So know that there's always somebody there to help support you, even if it is your maker, the, an angel the universe, your guides. One more card. Okay. One more card. Oh, the tower card, the tower card. Yeah. Um, yeah. The three sixes here. Um, everything that's being on this board, the, the new moon in Sagittarius, the numerology alone about looking at things in our life, where we have control, where we need control. You know, for a long time, I made the kids lunches, I had total control over that. And as they all went into high school, that was my time to teach them how to pack a lunch. And so that was one of the things that they also got to learn how to do their own laundry when they went into high school. That was another one of their things that they had to take on doing. And not that they weren't doing other things, but as we grow, we take on commitment and obligation and we have to make that commitment and obligation to ourselves. So it's about taking care of ourselves, packing our food, washing our clothes, making our bed, right? Um, and so in order for that to happen in life, other things have to fall by the wayside, right? Things, even though we want to step into new territory, we, we seem to want to cling to the routine, the safety, um, and know that that is just a false security, that you're feeling that there is more safety and security within the adventure than staying in your routine under this energy. The dogs are going crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, better, better see what's going on. Hang on, guys. I'll be... Okay, there was somebody there. Um, <laughs> I know, it was just a blink of an eye for you, but... I've been gone for a few minutes. Model is still like looking around, expecting more. Okay, so I think I talked about the tower card. I think I was pretty well done there. So we will continue on and grab an oracle card. And we have make a wish. The one energy, make a wish. Is this magical or what? My goodness. The one energy. So we've already talked about the one energy. I don't need to go there. And as a child, you may have been encouraged to blow on a dandelion and make a wish. As you blew the seed blossoms from the stem, they would be carried on the wind so your wish could be fulfilled. This card is a gentle reminder to set clear intentions about what you wish for in your life. You are being asked that you would like, you are being asked what you would like. At this moment, anything is possible. If you were given one wish, what would you wish for? Trust that your wish will be granted at the most opportune time and in a manner that supports you to the fullest. So make a wish. What is your desire? What is your dreams? What are your passions? Well, get an animal card. Of course, we will end 
I know it's going to be a long video, but we have to do our journey of love cards. I felt so bad not having the deck with me on the last one. I think that's the only time I've ever done a moon reading without that deck so look at this party time well with sag energy it is i told you to get out there and socialize um, get out with people absolutely feel the optimism feel the joy and join the monkeys in their party celebrate silliness positivity celebrate what you want to see more of so celebrate what you want to see more of that's a great thing today to have as our in, our intention, right? I celebrate what I want to have more of. So celebrate money, celebrate jewelry, celebrate love, celebrate prosperity, and, you know, celebrate it. Absolutely celebrate it. Celebrate everything that would make your life greater. Monkey wants you to know that you've been serious far too long and it's time to act silly and celebrate. Even if there's nothing to celebrate, create something. Put on party hats, get balloons, and simply celebrate you. If you've been taking time to have fun, maybe it's those around you who are the party poopers. Look to see if your group of friends are negative factors in your life and change accordingly. Everyone deserves at least one friend that is sensible, but it's always good to have those who help you to keep fun in your life too monkey might also be telling you that you will be invited to attend a celebration a birthday an anniversary a promotion and that this day will be something positive to attend attend the events even if you don't feel like it you may meet someone who could assist you in changing your life whether for love or for career money says get out there and network yeah net yeah socialize with purpose absolutely monkey have some fun doing it okay where do the people of corporate hang out okay is it the curling club do they bowl do they play darts do they do axe throwing where are they are they at the bar are they at a fancy restaurant do they go to a little coffee shop socialize with purpose or get around like-minded people. Join a group of people that have the same interests as you. Or add an interest as you. Okay. Did I cut these? Gosh, I don't know. So I'm going to cut them again. Oh, that feels right. Ethereal touch. The 27, which is a 9 energy. And yeah, it's not the light hitting it. It's actually the style of the card. Okay. Ethereal touch. Look at that. Oh, can we get that together? There we go. Okay, ethereal touch. I will read the poem. Poem is long, the writing is short. I don't ever vary from anything that is said in this. I mean, the artistry is fantastic. The writing is even more powerful. I could not duplicate anything about this energy that they put into this card without the help of the book. Okay, so in a world of no coincidences and no mistakes, you are heaven sent. I thank God for the opportunity to know you to experience your kindness, your generosity, and most of all, our love. How long have I waited to open my heart to bear my soul, to let my power comfort and my arms hold, to let my wisdom counsel and my love awaken? Well, this is only the beginning. When I look in your eyes, I know. Spirit is present in your every touch at this time, and you are having an impact on the world around you, particularly in your close relationships, in many ways that are far more profound than may be immediately obvious. The touch of your soul is ethereal, spiritual, a light and sound. It moves the heart and opens pathways of possibility through love, faith, trust. 
that would otherwise be impossible to access. Trust in the presence of the divine in your touch, physical and spiritual. Your healing presence is making waves of love rise and stir in this world. And remember, the divine lives and breathes through you. Remember that, though the sacred temple of your body gifts you with hands through which to hold and give, it is the soul within the flesh that renders the touch a sacred healing. This oracle guides you to accept and embrace your healing abilities, to trust that you can feel your way through life by opening your hands to receive and taking hold of the opportunities that are presented to you. You are meant to touch the world with your spirit. Definitely a time to break out of our comfort zones, our old routines. To show the world our own authenticity, our self-expression, doing the things that we want to do, taking a risk on ourselves, finally taking that trip, finally stepping into that opportunity, that adventure, that learning experience that you've always wanted to. Or maybe something new has come up in your world. By all means, by all means, leap. Have faith. It's a beautiful energy that surrounds us to enable us to be successful on this journey. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you. <laughs>